Let's now look at a second example of an exploratory factor analysis. Uh, looking at the uh, exploratory factor analysis notes, you should find exercise 2 and we'll download the uh, .sav file. It's called bhav.sav and I will open that up in SPSS. Uh, this is just taking a little while to open up. Uh, let's pause. Here's my data. Okay, so in this data set we have 15 uh, behaviour items that have been filled out by teachers observing uh, quite a few students. We've got lots of data. In fact, we have uh, 1,500 cases. So 15 variables and 1,500 cases would provide a ratio of 100 to 1, uh, which is more than enough for data date uh, exploratory factor analysis, even 20, 20 to 1 would be ideal. Um, now the uh, items are described here, so they're about whether the child concentrates, is curious, perseveres, even-tempered, placid, compliant, self-controlled, relates warmly, has sustained attention, is communicative, relaxed, calm, purposeful in his or her activity, cooperative uh, and contented. And the question we're asking here is whether there are a smaller number of underlying behaviour dimensions that students display in class that can summarise these um, 15 different uh, indicators. Uh, back on the tutorial, original tutorial three notes page, you can get the um, PDF or doc version of the notes from Francis uh, about this data analysis and you can see that it contains the uh, the items that were used. Alright so let's go back into SPSS and analyze dimension reduction factor Control A will highlight all 15 variables and put them in. In descriptive statistics, I'm going to click on univariate descriptives, coefficients, anti image, and KMO and Bartlett's. In extraction, I'm going to look for independent, uh, I'm going to look for all variants. Actually, no, we'll, we'll look for principal axis factoring, just looking for the underlying factors. We'll see how many factors emerge uh, using Kaiser's criterion. Continue. Rotation. Uh, let's consider that some of the fact some of the behaviours may well be correlated. So we'll start off doing direct oblomen. Continue. Um, and then options. Sort by size and suppress coefficients and we'll now do use point 0.2 since I like to see some of the smaller factor loadings rather than hide them. Paste. Uh, go to my syntax and then I can hit run. Uh, now that errors come up probably because I've got the other data file open so I'm going to go to data 14.1 and close it and then go back to my syntax and rerun. Ah, I still have an error. Uh, let's pause. All right, the problem is that I'm running the first lot of syntax, not the second lot. Okay, so we'll look at the results in the next screencast.